Hi, I'm Shu Jiehan from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I'm going to present the work, an in-depth study of correlated failures in production SSD-based data centers. This is a joint work with folks from Alibaba Group. Correlated failures challenge high storage reliability and complicate the design of redundancy protection schemes. As SSDs become the mainstream storage media in modern data centers, the storage reliability of data centers critically depends on the reliability of SSDs. However, little is known about the characteristics of correlated failures of SSDs and their implications on storage reliability in production environments. In this work, we present an in-depth data-driven analysis on correlated failures from spatial and temporal perspectives of SSD-based data centers at Alibaba. We provide 15 findings on correlated failures, including intranode and intrareg failures. We analyze the impacting factors of drive characteristics, smart attributes, and applications on correlated failures. We conduct a trace-driven simulation on the storage reliability of different redundancy protection schemes under correlated failures. We release our dataset and source code for public use. We collected nearly 1 million SSDs of 11 drive models from three vendors over a two-year span in multiple SSD-based data centers at Alibaba. Our dataset includes multiple data types, smart logs, trouble tickets, locations, including nodes and racks, and applications. Our trouble tickets cover two main types of SSD failures, whole drive failures, in which an SSD either cannot be accessed or loses all data that is unrecoverable. Partial drive failure, in which part of the data in an SSD either cannot be accessed and is unrecoverable. We study the correlated failures from the following dimensions. Spatial and temporal properties. We study how SSD failures manifest within a node or a rack by considering intranode and intrareg failures to refer to the failures co-occurring within a node or rack respectively. We set a default threshold of intranode and intrareg failure time interval as 30 minutes. We define the intranode or intrareg failure group as a sequence of intranode or intrareg failures. Correlation properties. We use the SRCC to measure the correlations between correlated failures and smart attributes. We first examine the severity of correlated failures and find that a non-negligible fraction of SSD failures belong to intranode and intrareg failures. Also, the intranode or intrareg failure group size can exceed the tolerable limit of some redundancy protection schemes. From the left figures, we find that the likelihood of having an additional intranode or intrareg failure in an intranode or intrareg failure group depends on the already existing intranode or intrareg failures. We next examine how the percentages of intranode and intrareg failures are affected by various thresholds of intranode and intrareg failure time intervals. We observe from the right figure that a non-negligible fraction of intranode and intrareg failures occur within a short period of time, even within one minute. We analyze the impact of dry models on correlated failures. The left figures show that the relative percentages of intranode or intrareg failures vary across dry models. We also examine the average number of SSDs per node or rack for different dry models. In general, putting too many SSDs from the same dry model in the same nodes or racks leads to a high percentage of intranode or intrareg failures. However, we also find that the AFR and the environmental factors, for example, temperature, affect the relative percentages of intranode and intrareg failures. We vary the thresholds of the intranode and intrareg failure time interval broken down by the drive models. The figure shows that 
the intranode and initial drug failures with a short failure time interval account for non-negligible percentages for most drug models. We analyze the impact of lithography on correlated failures. For MLC SSDs, a smaller lithography implies that the SSDs have a higher density. Also, 3D TLC SSDs have higher densities than those of MLC SSDs. From the figures, we find that MLC SSDs with higher densities generally have lower relative percentages of intranode and intra failures. We analyze the impact of age of a failed SSD, for example, power on years until the failure occurs on correlated failures. We observe that the relative percentages of intranode and intra failures increase with age. Also, the intranode and intra failures at an older age are more likely to occur within a short time due to the increasing rated life used. We analyze the impact of the capacity on correlated failures. The left figures show that the relative percentages of intranode and intra failures vary significantly across the capacity. The right figures show no clear trend between the relative percentages of intranode or intra failures for different thresholds of failure time intervals and the capacity. We use the SRCC to examine which smart attributes are correlated with intranode and intra failures. The figure shows that smart attributes have limited correlations with intranode and intra failures. The highest SRCC values are only 0.23 for both intranode and intra failures. Thus, smart attributes are not good indicators for detecting the existence of intranode and intra failures. Also, intranode and intra failures have no significant difference of absolute values of SRCC for each smart attribute. We analyze the relationships between the failure patterns and workload distributions of the eight most widely used applications. The figure shows that right dominant workloads lead to more SSD failures overall, but are not the only factors on AFRs. Other factors such as dry models can affect AFRs. We analyze the impact of applications on correlated failures. We find that the applications with more SSDs per node or rack and right dominant workloads tend to have a high percentage of intranode or intra rack failures. We next vary the thresholds of the intranode and intra rack failure time intervals. The figure shows that the relative percentages of intranode and intra rack failures for different thresholds of a of the failure time intervals vary across the applications. By further examining the average ages of intranode and intra failures for the applications, we find that intranode and intra failures at an older age and with more right dominant workloads tend to occur in a short time. We next present a trace-driven simulation analysis on how redundancy schemes affect storage reliability in the face of correlated failures in our dataset. Our analysis considers three redundancy schemes, RV replication, read Solomon coding, and local reconstruction coding, as well as two recovery schemes, eager recovery and lazy recovery. We extend the CMEDC to support the reliability evaluation on our dataset and measure the reliability with two metrics, probability of data loss and normalized magnitude of data loss. We first evaluate the reliability of different redundancy schemes based on the SSD failure patterns in our dataset. From the left figures, we observe that erasure coding shows higher reliability than replication. We next examine the reliability on their only independent failures from a mathematical failure model and under the failure patterns in our dataset, including both independent and correlated ones. The red figures show that the redundancy schemes that are sufficient for tolerating independent failures may be insufficient for correlated failures. 
we finally evaluate the reliability of lazy recovery under only independent failures from the mathematical failure model and under the failure patterns in our dataset. For lazy recovery, we vary the thresholds of triggering recovery from one to four field chunks. A threshold of one implies eager recovery. The figure shows that these two erasure codes achieve a high reliability under only independent failures, but the reliability degrades under correlated failures as the threshold increases. Thus, lazy recovery is less suitable than eager recovery for tolerating correlated failures in our dataset. To conclude, we report 15 findings on correlated failures of SSDs based on the large-scale dataset at Alibaba. Our analysis includes spatial and temporal correlations of SSD failures and the impact of different factors on correlated failures. We also evaluate the reliability of various redundancy schemes under correlated failures via trace-driven simulation. Finally, we release our dataset and source code for public use. Thank you. I'd like to take your questions and comments.